Hey folks, welcome again to Mount Comfort RV. I'm Scott Bell. Today we're going to take a uh, walk through on the Tiffin Wayfarer, the 24QW. Uh, as you notice, it does have the Mercedes-Benz uh, Sprinter chassis on the uh, as far as the engine and chassis go. So with the engine, you're looking at a 3.0 six-cylinder uh, Mercedes engine, 188 horse, 325 foot-pounds of torque. This particular coach does have the Frontier full body paint. And it does have the sandstone interior with it, and we'll get to that once we get into the inside. Some of the things you'll notice uh, that are unique to Tiffin, uh, the first most important thing probably is their, uh, their doors, their storage doors. Tony can focus down there on the chain that's attached to all their storage doors. Same construction as the Phaeton and the bus. Same style, same theory. Uh, they're very thick, very durable. Some of the thickest doors in the industry, uh, which will also help keep your coach very well insulated. With this particular model, we do have the exterior TV with the Furion um, soundbar. So if you're out and you know tailgating or you want to do a campfire uh, underneath the awning, you can watch a Disney movie or just whatever you guys you know choose to do. So we do have the Onan, <clears throat> excuse me, the Onan quiet diesel generator. So it is a, a diesel powered generator, so it's going to be pulling right off of your gas tank. The gas tank is right around 26 and a half gallons, so there's plenty of fuel in there. Uh, just so you do know, one of the safety features on the diesel, it will cut itself off at a quarter of a tank. Once you get to a quarter of a tank of gas, the diesel generator will cease to work so you don't run yourself out of gas. But you can see they have installed a lot of storage up in, in underneath. And again, uh, you can see how well constructed the storage doors are. Very durable. This particular coach does have a bedroom slide out the rear. So basically the bed inside, and you'll see that it actually folds in half, but the rear comes out, um, does save some space when you're camping. You do have a 5,000 pound hitch off of the rear, so you can tow anything up to 5,000 pounds. You'll see you also do have a, a, a slide topper on the rear slide here. Getting around to the driver's side of the coach, uh, we basically have your power cord connection and also storage there in the rear compartment. Uh, this will be your central docking station, water pump access, black tank hose, exterior shower. You also have a water filtration system. Uh, this is where your knife valves are. You basically your gray tank, black tank. You can release them there as well as your LP tank which will be supplied for your refrigerator and for your two burner stove inside. Now one of the neat things is Tony can move around here about this Wayfarer, if you focus on the slide, they are a seamless slide. The beauty of a seamless slide is with no seams, no chance of water penetration. So that's a huge, huge factor. And also this one has slide toppers as well. Uh, we did open up the, uh, open up the fuel um, entry point here, it was right by the driver's door, very convenient. You're not having to guess where you need to pull up on the gas pump as to how far back or how far forward you need to go. Um, so we will move into the interior part of the coach and I'll see you guys inside. Hey guys, welcome to the inside of the coach. Again, Tiffin Wayfair 24QW 2019 version. As you can see, we do have the sandstone interior in here. Uh, one of the neat things about this Mercedes chassis is you do get a lot of the rounded corners, more European Mercedes type styling. Uh, they are solid wood cabinets, solid wood fascia, um, solid surface countertops but uh, if we have Tony just pan around to the front part of the coach here you can kind of see the neat uh, uniqueness of the graphite design typical Mercedes uh, styling and engineering you do have a backup camera as well as side view cameras uh, and all of your heat and AC controls are up there easily accessible uh, a ton of fl floor room and uh, foot space you're not cramped there's plenty of room to stretch out uh, they even have a little access underneath the glove box for a tool, a uh, little bit of a tool compartment. So these are the actual chairs, actually the pilot and co-pilot. Um, they do spin around and they come with what we call a bumper seat, which actually once you spin them, this will raise you up about six inches 
on, uh, above the surface so that the chairs actually become part of the living area and it's not so awkward you don't feel like you're sitting on the floor when you're talking to somebody sitting at the booth dinette also up in this front area we do have the overhead bunk as well as the tv uh, the bunk is on gas shocks easy up and down there's also a ladder back here if tony can get a hold of that hooks on to right here so easy up for the bunk uh, person that will be staying in the bunk this is actually your blind kit for the front windshield and pilot and co-pilot windshields to kind of black those out and give you some privacy in the evenings uh, you have lg tv uh, inside and outside as far as that goes uh, which that will include um, basically that gives you access to your netflix hulu youtube uh, you also have the uh, cd dvd radio as well built in lighted grab handle new for 19 also just so you realize that moving over into the galley area we have the microwave which is convection uh, smaller microwave but it's a nice fit good size uh, everything an oven can do that convection can do and then we also have the uh, two burner cooktop which is run off of your LP so larger burner for soup smaller burner for like uh, sandwiches or what have you they also did new for 19 a little um, trash dispenser here which you can pull out at the bottom but it is kind of a nice fit and you can slide stuff in and out of there uh, solid surface countertop again a nice round farmers bowl type sink along with residential sprayer and faucet head and again ton of storage up here once again you have the rounded um, mercedes style european style cabinetry so a lot of storage up there and then we also have on this side have like a spice rack if you will uh, keep things organized uh, keep them from sliding around falling around uh, spices can you know parmesan cheese what have you stuff like that uh, turning around we go back into the uh, booth dinette area so as far as the booth dinette goes it does break down into a bed so you could sleep a small child possibly a small adult um, then it also does have on the underneath side you have a deep storage um, on both sides which gives you uh, you know a lot of area for extra linens or you know canned goods or whatever you need to put in there as well so moving back from the galley area into the refrigerator which is a three-way refrigerator uh, we're eight cubic feet do have refrigerator freezer as well so typical rv fridge there uh, moving back into the uh, restroom uh, bathroom area foot flush stool you do have the uh, more residential uh, bowl style sink as well as a one-piece surround for the shower and as well as a um, skylight on the shower with the residential type shower release uh, head one of the cool features about this coach it does have three vents and fans throughout the coach one in the bedroom one in the bathroom one in the galley so we're back into the bedroom now and uh, th this is actually a queen size bed you do have the LG TV once again in the um, in the uh, bedroom area and when this when this actually this slide comes in this end is going to fold up lock down and then this whole slide will move forward the base does not move so this base will stay here but this slide will come in in the lock position like this and you just simply release it once you're once you get the slide back out and it drops down it is a queen queen size uh, pillow top mattress And you do have the spider multiplex wiring uh, which controls all of your um, digital controls as well as your uh, thermostat a lot of storage in the coach for the size of it uh, you can also see inside there would be your table for uh, in between the chairs up front and then we have additional storage down here and this would be your central control panel up here for your generator, uh, your solar, water heater, and also your um, vision as far as your satellite goes. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for walking through the 2019 Tiffin Wayfair 24QW. Again, I am Scott Bell. 
Uh, my cell phone number will appear on the screen. Please give me a call if you have any questions. We can go into more detail. We do have three other models like this. We have a TW and another QW. So if it's a Wayfair you're looking for, which is the hottest Mercedes Sprinter coach on the market, give us a call.